In recent videos, I have had some comments on my speech and uh, the way that I say the word uh. And so I've had George make me a backing track for this video that's gonna blow your mind. Blow your mind. Blow your mind. If you're new around here, this is Ground Affected. My name is your dad, and in this video, I'm gonna paint Emma Frost from 3D Wicked. People said they don't like my voice. So I made a song, now they have no choice. I made this song throughout the whole video. Make sure to share it with your brand new girl. 3D Wicked models are known for their textures and details. They go overboard on all the details and on this base there was a load of icicles that I had to cut off just because of the time constraints that I had making this model. Of course, the first thing you want to do if you are going to paint a model is 3D print it first. Uh, that's if you are printing and painting. If you're buying one, you need to buy it, obviously. Then, once you've got your parts ready, you need to prime the parts. Usually, I would be using black, uh, which is the Chaos Black from Citadel spray paint, but in this case, I used the white one, which is uh, not even white, but it's close enough to white. I then took uh, some blue colors, which in my mind is the colors of ice, and probably in the minds of every other person in the world, and I sprayed them all over uh, the chair that is going to be on the base of this model. I also used my wife's hairdryer to dry it in order to help speed up this whole process. Don't put too many rocks in your sack. I used deck tan to spray over the top of that blue and then decided very promptly that that was not the correct blue. It did not seem uh, like the ice that I was actually going for. So I took Talisar Blue, which is a contrast paint, and I sprayed that all around, uh, all into the little gaps. Basically, I sprayed it into all the gaps to create some more shape and then spray painted a white ink over the top of all of that. Now, on the base, there is also some ice, but also on the chair there is some ice, and this is not the base ice, this is, in fact, the chair ice. I printed this in clear resin from Anycubic, and I only cured this for about 30 seconds, meaning I definitely will still have cancer after I've picked up this model. However, let's put that aside and just look at how cool it looks. I'm pretty sure if you overcure this, it's gonna go yellow, you're gonna have a sad time, uh, so don't overcure it. But basically, if you just spray it with some clear coat over the top, maybe don't put it in your mouth and you should probably be fine. I used this very cheap auto extreme clear lacquer from the very cheap shop down the road by me to spray over the top of them and make it look shiny. At this point I am now complete with just the chair for the base. It's now time to work on the base and to bring that color from the chair into the base as well I'm gonna spray this all over into the deepest darkest recesses in the base. This is going to go as my base coat and then instead of using this first I used the second because I didn't actually want to have a lot of this color but as you can see it kind of pulled up a lot over the top of these ice pieces which is okay. I wanted this to happen and then I took in a blue dark blue ink and sprayed that into the deepest of the recesses just to create even more depth. Using my wife's hairdryer again, I dried this piece so that I could carry on very swiftly painting a white ink over the top of all of this. Everyone knows that if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, that means that your breath stinks. And if you want to fix your stinky breath, then you should click the subscribe button right meow. Using blue ink and a mix of metallic paint from Army Painter, I painted this in one solid foul swoop all over the bottom part of the base, which I will come back to and add some depth by using this Drakenhof Nightshade and just spraying it all around the bottom rim. If you like 3D printing and you like comics and Marvel and all those kind of things, then today's video sponsor is one for you. This video was brought to you by the good fellows over at 3D Wicked on their Patreon. Now if you're unaware of what Patreon is, this is a website where creators like myself and sculptors all over the world create creations like this and you can subscribe to them and sometimes you can receive products in the... Uh, 
of here, uh, it's hard to explain, but I'll put it into the easy words for you. Give them money every time the month turns to the first of the month, and you will receive a statue of which you can 3D print and paint for yourself to add to your collection. These dudes produce four statues and four busts of those statues per month, as well as 40 models in the welcome pack. This is definitely something you want to be looking at if you're interested in 3D printing and painting things for yourself too. Ever since I had started 3D printing and making videos about the painting of these 3D prints, 3D Wicked has been a supporter of me since day number one. And I am really proud of uh, adding them to my list of sponsors for this channel. If you would like to get anything that resembles this kind of thing that comes out of your 3D printers, then maybe you want to check out the link in the description for 3D Wicked. Uh, they have some sister companies too. You can check them out as well. Uh, but make sure to check them out. Let them know that I sent you and uh, go print all those 40 models. For the skin tones of this model, I made a little bit of a different choice, and this time I mixed a little bit of a very bright fluorescent um, magenta into the pinkle before I sprayed it. I sprayed this all over the model this time because normally I would use a black undercoat and use this as a zenithal highlight. I also used a transparent red from the bottom end and all the shadows of the model in order to create a little bit more depth in the shadows. I then take the next medium skin tone a medium some kind of a medium skin tone uh, that's going to be the basically base coat of everything for this model and i'm going to spray that over all the parts creating shape and highlight at this point you want to try and leave some of the pink behind in fact you want to leave quite a fair amount of the pink behind because this is what's going to trick your mind into thinking that the skin is alive and not dead and desaturated i then start working my way up using two of the highlights above the color that i chose as my base color and i spray that on all the highest points wherever the light would be hitting i then take some deck tan and paint over all the parts that need to be white on this model i could have done this by masking it off but it would have been a nightmare as you can see trying to mask off this body so the way I'm gonna do this is a little bit weird I'm gonna use deck tan as my base color which is a dirty color and I'm gonna come back in with some nice white ink and I'm gonna spray that all over the highlights and as you can see even though deck tan kind of looks white it's actually not white at all and this is definitely gonna help to sell the effect that this suit is white Once I'm completely satisfied that the body, the legs and the arms are ready and where I need them to be, I'm going to put these parts together and set this bit aside. The reason that my head was not ready on time for the rest of the model was because I had some slight key issues which I'm pretty sure 3D Wicked have already fixed for you and I needed to reprint my head and so this is why I have a head separate. I also used the exact same skin technique on her head as I did on the body, otherwise it would have looked weird. And now for her hair, what I'm going to do is mix some deck tan with a little bit of yellow to make some sort of a blondish kind of color. The main focus here is just to get a good coverage and deck tan is one of those colors that just covers almost anything pretty well. I will highlight this hair later with a little bit of deck tan and some white as well. For her eyes, I gave them some shadow with some washes that are watered down quite a lot. I then took some very dark brown which is Saigal brown and it's a contrast paint and I painted the caterpillars that run across her forehead. Thank you. 
And once satisfied that I haven't completely messed up this model, it's time to work on the eyes and I do this in the same way that I usually do. I paint them black first. When I'm done painting them black, I will come back with some deck tan and paint the insides. But before I do that, I use Magos Purple on the lips. I did later on add some transparent red on this as well. And that's when I then add some irises into the eyes. Using some blue, I give them some highlights and call this model done. So I'm changing up the structure of the video just a little bit, uh, don't worry about that, just keep watching. But I would like to say a special thanks to the Patreons, especially the new ones that we got this week, and I'm gonna shout them out right now. Curly Porter, Ryan Cunningham, Jack Schlegger, Jerker K, Jan Kemps, and Adam Trang. I thank you my dudes for your support in keeping these lights blind in my eyeballs and helping these videos to be continually be made, of course, uh, I've got to show you uh, what this bottle came out like and also if you didn't like anything you saw in the video then it's time for you to off. <laughs>